Hi guys, welcome to our Excel course. In this video, we are going to be taking an introductory look at the ribbon in Excel. The ribbon appears as this banner at the top of your window in Excel, and it's laid out in a number of different tabs, each with groups, with various commands in it. Essentially, the ribbon is a tool that allows you to quickly navigate through various things that you may like to do in Excel. And I'm going to quickly walk you through each of tabs and what's content in them as standard. Another point to note is just above the ribbon here in the top left hand corner of your spreadsheet you have a quick access toolbar which by default stands to attend to your save your undo and redo buttons. You can actually customize your quick access toolbar by clicking in the little drop down arrow and selecting a number of different options here or you can right click anywhere in your ribbon go to customize quick access toolbar and you can select any comments that you regularly use and uh, add it into your list or quickly click on any of the ones that are in your list and click remove and that uh, will appear no matter which tab you are on and allows you to access some of your must use commands now running through your ribbon your home tabs contains probably what will be the most commonly used commands in excel so it starts with your clipboards your cuts copy your various pay special options then move to your fonts or be able to add the, just your fonts to make the bold italic underline changing the color background of your cell or quickly changing your front color you can also just font the size and so on so forth your elements tabs contains all your cell elements options so if we type something in your cell we can then align it the right center left of the cell we can also in the dentist all right dentist the number group in your home tab allow you to format your numbers and then we have got a range of different size and formatting options there is also a number of options for inserting removing rows your cells formatting your cells and then a couple of quick editing options which you can also find a number of this in another tabs but things like your auto sum filling data down across and clearing things like formatting or content there is also finance elective if you are looking for something in your spreadsheet and your basic search and filter options can also be found here as well as in one for later tabs moving on into the insert tab input illustrations smart shared shapes pictures there is a number of different add-in options and then probably something that most will use uh, quite a bit in excel is this charts group which allows you to add all different sorts of charts to visualize your data if the end it's got a number of different options which we'll look at in uh, some later videos around this uh, like spark lines options for filtering adding links into your data and then there is a number of different options around text such as adding a text box over above your worksheet adding in a word dash signature lines or various other objects this is also where you find the options to add in things like special characters and symbols and equations your page layers tab is where you find the, your options for changing your theme or your default spreadsheet colors page setup options which allow you to uh, set up your page so this can be printed or visualized easily obviously but scaling of your spreadsheets in a particular page options to look at viewing your grade lines or your hidden tabs depending on how you want their, uh, your spreadsheets to look like this can be useful if you create a ton of examples you want to hide your hidden and your grade lines so you are totally is visually more appealing for users and there is a number of options for arranging objects with uh, your spreadsheet the formulas tab in your ribbon creates the options to put in a number of different functions create formulas create formulas out of them there is a functions library that allow you to search uh, for a particular thing you want to do it appears with the most commonly used ones but you can obviously search for anything in particular that uh, you might want to do it also allow you to define your selling we'll come on this in later video and it gives you a number of options for ordering your formulas or how they are going to calculate
your data tabs give you options about getting data from external documents such as uh, maybe word documents pdfs from the web or from tabs or other spreadsheets there are various options for refreshing your data particularly where it is linked through to other parts of their spreadsheet or other spreadsheet also where you have a pivot table and they want to refresh that your search filtering allows each source data and then there is a number of different data tools that to help you manage your data better there is are also options for further analysis as well as visualizing your data by grouping or ungrouping it the review tab in the ribbon creates a number of different proving and uh, review options so if you are reviewing so if you are reviewing somebody else's uh, spreadsheet or you want adding comments in your own this is where you will find all these options it also gives you a range of options protecting your worksheets or your workbook so if it is being used by multiple users you can reduce the risk of error scraping and the view tabs give you a range of options for visualizing your data so how you want to look whether you want to look in your page view or just like a normal spreadsheet what you want to appear with you once you are ahead in your grade lines to appear similar to a previous page so you can actually customize the view of your spreadsheet so it look like through he wants to look like a number of different zoom up options for freezing your page or airing windows so that you can visualize multiple data sets better or large database better and help tab bring it for the support or look up various uh, queries that you might have clicking on help will open up a sidebar we can search for any queries that you might have also on the tabs at the top there is a backstage view if you hit and file which brings you over to the sheets where you can open a new document save your document print it share it export it and so on now this is just a well stop tour through the ribbon and what's content in each tab for their videos i got a look at a lot of these elements in more details another thing that's useful to know is you can collapse your ribbon so clicking in this little arrow here and then expand it again you can click in any one of your tabs obviously if you click out at the moment it will just disappear again so to pin it again we come on this little pin in the right hand corner click it and we say push a final point you can customize your ribbons so, so by right click anywhere in your ribbon and click customize the ribbon and you can create a new tabs or rename existing tabs and what actually appears in each of those tabs this is can be useful if you are using spreadsheets for very particular purposes and if we are always using the same commands you can select how you might things to appear there are some hidden tabs such as developer that you can select and then if you look this is are now displayed in your tabs and your developer contains a range of options around things like macros so again this is was just a well-stop tour around the ribbon just to give you an understanding of how you can use it to navigate it through excel we are going to look in future videos in a lot of more details at uh, all the options that i have briefly touched in today video if there is any